Hello YouTube friends, I'm Jerry Rosa with Rosa String Works. We've got another little project here today. And this one is about a 1964-ish. That's just rough uh, estimate. I didn't look up the serial number. I'm just guessing early 60s. K guitar. Now it could possibly be late 50s, maybe even late 60s for all I know. But uh, anyway, just uh, looking at it here, it's got an issue. And uh, see how good we can show you on the issue here. On the top, you can see this big crack right here. And it is uh, actually dented in on the top just a little bit. Uh, and they kind of see it there in the glare. And uh, what we're going to do to fix that, well, first let me describe the problem a little bit more. And I'll move the camera down where you can see the top better. Right here again is the crack, and there is a brace that comes across here, and that brace is actually split lengthwise, and it's pulled loose from the top. So it's a compound problem. We've got to get glue in this crack, we've got to get glue in the crack of the brace, and then we've got to find a way to get it all back up together. And here's the way we're going to get it back together. I just cut myself a block of wood. This is just a about a 5 8 uh, finished plywood. It's a, like a mahogany plywood. So it's like a finished grade. And uh, it's real stiff, of course, being small like that. And we're going to lay that on the back, right on the, just lay it inside the guitar on the back. Then I cut myself a dowel pin. And this dowel pin uh, has angles on it, if you can see them there. I uh, have two 40, and they're not really 45s, but just some angle. And uh, what that does is I cut, the, I cut it so that the overall length is about a quarter inch longer, uh, or maybe not even that much, but a little bit longer than the distance between that piece of plywood and the brace. And what I'll do then is those two angles allow me to put it in there at an angle like this and straighten it up and force that brace up to the top. And I've already done a dry fit on it and it makes it perfectly level and it brings that crack perfectly back together. So I think we're going to be in good shape if we can get glue in the cracks. That sometimes is the hardest thing to do. And uh, we're going to get started on that right now. What I do sometimes especially if it's a tight looking crack, which this one is, is I'll get me a little bit of water and I'll do that. And usually it's best to use warm water. I've got some warm tap water here and I'm going to literally paint it right on that crack. Now the capillary action of water will suck that water right down in that crack. The glue is a little bit too thick to be sucked in like that. But if you put the water on there first and let the crack get a little bit damp from the uh, from the water and work it up and down like I'm doing here so that that water can work its way in that crack then that will thin the glue out just a little bit and we're not talking about a lot now but that'll be just enough to let that glue flow in that crack so now I'm gonna put a generous amount of glue right on that crack and I'm gonna work the crack up and down by hand again and I'm gonna paint it in there with the brush as best I can to try to get it to flow and the brush is still just damp from water so that makes the glue just a little bit thinner too and I can see that the uh, glue is working into the crack and let's see if we can show you that whoops forgot my plywood was in there and uh, anyway if I force it like this I can see the glue working its way along this crack right here so I'm going to put a good amount of glue there. I'm going to put some more glue on it, work it a little bit more. Thicken the glue up a little bit now. Get a little more glue in there. Trying to force it in the best I can with my paintbrush. And that'll and I can see the glue forcing its way out when I push up on it. So that's a good sign. Now the hardest part on this project is going to get glue in the crack of that brace. And I can tell you right now, that's not easy to do. Hopefully I can do it with the paintbrush. I'm going to just reach inside. And I can almost see it by eye. I'm going to have to do some of this by feel. I know where the crack is. And I can feel it there. And, and my brush is hitting it, I'm pretty sure. Some more glue on my brush. This one's not an easy one to do right here. 
forcing the brush down in that crack the best I can. Can't really see it, so I just have to go by feel. I'm gonna get my piece of plywood back out of there while I'm thinking of it. Until I get this finished. Put some more glue. I'm gonna see if I can come from the other side of the crack. I don't know if I can get my hand, my big hand in this little hole. Uh, again, we got another small sound hole, two in a row. Let's see if I can get my hand on the other side of the crack. And I think I did. I don't know how successful I was getting glue where I needed it to go though. be a little tricky. Got a little mirror with a uh, light on it. I'll look inside there and see if I can see if I was successful or not. Well, it doesn't look too bad. Very difficult to tell though. I'm going to try some more. More is better than not enough in this case. I'm going to say that we got it. I don't know if we did for sure or not. Now I'm just going to make sure I don't have any glue on the brace itself. Put my block of wood back in there. And take my left hand. This is about the only thing I can do left handed. Because I need to get it at a certain angle here. Reach in. And try to pry that brace up. And it looks like I did it glue really squeezed out good right here. Ah, now I bumped my brace. That was silly. Yeah, I turned my water over. I knew that was going to happen too. I should have moved that a second ago. Not doing so hot on camera, am I? Well, there we go. I got it that time. That looks pretty good. Now I can take a damp rag just take a damp rag and wipe that extra glue off real good before it sets up and that should do it the customer was also concerned about a scratch down through here thinking that that was part of this extra crack and my guess is that something um, fell on the guitar up here, hit the crack, and slid down and scratched this. You know, fell here, made the crack, slid down and scratched that. That's what I'm saying, because this is just a surface scratch. There's no break there at all. I will touch these up with some linseed oil, <coughs> excuse me, to, to make them look a little bit better. But other than that, that's probably all we're going to need to do on this. I will tell you that the peg holes on this guitar are incredibly small. You can barely get a string, the, butt, uh, the button of the string down through these holes. So I'm going to make those a little bit larger too. We'll just go ahead and do that on camera. A 3 16 inch drill bit has always been pretty good for this. So that's what I'm using and I can see that the bit will not go down through there right now. And uh, that makes sense to me because those holes are incredibly tight. You can literally barely get a string to force it down through there. So this will straighten that out. I'm going to spin the drill on high speed so that it'll make a cleaner hole. They're just a little bit too small, not a lot. And that'll solve that problem. Okay, we won't do anything more to this until we um, let this dry real good for 24 hours. I will reach in here and knock off any loose burrs of wood underneath those holes 
just to make sure that I got that clean. Just using my finger and cleaning them up. Feels pretty clean. And we'll set this aside to dry. <laughs> 